Welcome back guys, my name is Om and Film Riot just bought a Fantastic Beak special effects video out and it was amazing. But I thought I'd make a similar version of it if you can't afford their packs at the moment. Let's start by firing up After Effects. Import your clip and track the wand. I'm using the Film Riot clip so I have to manually track the wand using a single point tracker. If you can't find the tracker window, go up to Window and click on Tracker. In the tracking settings, click on track motion and frame by frame, track the wand. If you're clever and think ahead, you should put a light or a UV tape around the top, making it easier to track. Once you've got the tracking data, click on layer, null object, uh, rename the layer. I'm renaming it as left for the person on the left. Go back to the track window and click edit target. Make sure the left layer is selected and click OK. Then click apply, otherwise the track won't work. Do the same with the person on the right. For the wand, I've searched the internet and downloaded a wand effect on a black background. You can also use a green black background, but you'll have to key the effect down. Place this into the comp and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Change the blend mode to screen and align it with your first frame. To make sure that it follows the wand, we're going to use the track data. Using the Pick Wicket tool, grab and attach it to the track data. Last thing to do here is change the colour. In the effects panel and find colour balance and place this on the wand. Change the colour to the effect that you'd like. Here, I change it to red and blue. I've added a slight curve and levels effect to intensify the wand effect. Now we can place the explosion from where the wands meet and have an impact. Again, I searched for the effect online and placed this into the timeline from where I want the explosion to start. I've changed the blend mode here to color dodge. I did this three times to build up the intensity. Once you have the energy explosion, you can animate it to follow the actor's reaction. To add to the effect you have, I've drawn a mask around the wand effect, placed the feather on it and keyframed it to reveal the wand effect growing. Last thing to do here is to add some heat wave behind the wand effect. Start by duplicating the footage layer and draw a mask around where you want the heat wave to be placed. In the effects panel, search for turbulence displace and add this to the layer. From here, change the amount and the size to the amount you want. Change the displacement to turbulent smooth and click on the stopwatch to, to animate the displacement. Go to the end of the clip and change the amount and size again, making sure the keyframe is on. And you're done. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, hit the like button and please subscribe. If you want to see an in-depth one that Film Riot did, the link's in the description. And as always, I'll see you next week.